Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I recently did a virtual book tour of our new book, The Gluten Effect, and met a lot of wonderful people and just received so many questions to answer, so I thought it would be fun to uh, answer some in a video format. A gentleman writes in and says that he knows he's sensitive to gluten, has stopped eating it, but he wants to know, is it important for him to know whether he has celiac disease or not? So that's a great question. The things that we run into is that once you have stopped eating gluten, there's really no good celiac test that uh, will still be positive other than a genetic test. And what the genetic tests tell us is just whether genetically you're predisposed to perhaps getting celiac disease. So even that is not a definitive answer. But let's look at what you would have to do to then go back and definitively find out whether you had celiac disease or not. You'd actually have to start eating gluten again, which I think is very dangerous. In my 20 some odd years of clinical experience, I have seen patients who were off gluten, did very, very well, absolutely knew they were sensitive to it, then reintroduced it back into their diet, very often for the purposes of testing, and in some cases, these patients got a flare-up of autoimmune disease or other sorts of problems that never remedied themselves, including a child with a skin condition that completely went away initially upon removing gluten, and then when it was reintroduced, when a gastroenterologist wanted to do a biopsy for a celiac test and the child was reintroduced to gluten, then removing it again, subsequently the skin condition never cleared up. So uh, we are currently working with this child and hoping that we still get uh, remission. But And this is with a young body. So I've really seen too much of this to, with any degree of um, confidence, feel that I could say that would ever be a good idea. So I think if um, you can certainly look if celiac disease is in your family tree, you can look at the number of autoimmune diseases you see in your family tree, and you can do the genetic test to see if that susceptibility is in your genes. But truly, if you know you're gluten sensitive and you feel better and you're doing well, that's really all that you need. So I hope that helps, and until next time, I wish you very good health.